Can we start? Yes. Is that like a photo camera with my photo? Welcome to Easy English by Edition and we are continuing the Literature Class 10 Patrol Babu Film Star Part 2 Line by Line Explanation Anupriya, start reading Patrol Babu had just hung his shopping bag on his shoulder when Nishikanta Babu called from outside the main door Patrol, are you it? Oh yes, said Patrol Babu, just a minute Nishikanta Ghosh lived three houses away from Patrol Babu in Nepal Bhattacharji Lane, he was a genial person yeah, Patrol Babu had just come back from shopping. He had to buy certain provision for his household use. So he had just come back from purchases. And now his neighbor, Niskantu Ghos, has called on him. He had just visited his house to talk to him about something. Patrol Babu came out with the bag. What brings you here so early in the morning? He wanted to know, Patrol Babu wanted to know, why Niskanto Ghos had come to his house? What was the purpose? Listen, what time will you be back? In an hour or so, why? Yeah, Niskanto Ghos wanted to know when Patrol Babu will be back from shopping. He said he will, back, he will be back after an hour. After an hour. I hope you will stay in after that. Today being the Ghost's birthday. I met my youngest brother-in-law in Netaji Pharmacy yesterday. He is in the film business, in the production department. He said he was looking for an actor for a scene in a film they are now shooting. The way he described the character, fetish, short, bald-headed, it reminded me of you. So I gave him your address and asked him to get in touch with you directly. I hope you won't turn him away. They'll pay you, of course. Yes, uh, yeah. Ms. Kanto Ghos wanted to uh, convey to Patrol Babu that uh, his brother-in-law, Narista, who was in a film line, was producing some film and he was in need of an actor who should be middle-aged, bald-headed, short height. And Patrubha was just fit for that action. For that action. That's the reason why Narista had asked Nishkanto Bhut to bring a person or to call on a person who should be similar in description, short height, bald-headed and 50 years and above of his. Tell me, girls, all the girls now, what should be the three important qualifications of that person who was to be, I mean, such by Narista? First, the bar head and second, third, and 50 years and above. That's nice, brilliant. Now, you, start reading, please. Patul Babu hadn't expected such news at the start of the day. That, that an offer to act in a film could come to a 52-year-old nonatity non like him was beyond his widest dreams. Well, yes or no? Asked Nishikanta Babu. I believe you did some acting on the stage at one time. That's true, said Patol Babu. I really don't see why I should say no. But let's talk to your brother-in-law first and find out some details. What's his name? That's good. Listen, Patol Babu had never expected such a news at the of beginning of the day. So you are just surprised. What makes for all the surprise we're not uh, expecting such an offer to get up just morning of the day. For all are just surprised that we're getting such an offer. So then uh -huh. uh, to get I an mean, offer of acting in a film at that stage of life, I mean 50 years uh, is an above of the life. That's really unbelievable, incredible. So you know, to get an offer of acting in a film at such a late stage of life was just the news that was really surprising to Patrol Babu. So now, boys and girls, to get such a news, to act in a film at such a late state of life was just surprising. Just surprising for Patrol Babu to get an offer to act in a film at this stage of life was just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. That's the reason why he put such a remark. Such a remark. Now, boys, your turn now. What really surprised Patrol Babu when his cargo was told him about the offer to act in a film? What really surprised him? Say all of you. The news about the news of, about of an offer of an offer to act in a film at such a latest state of life was just unbelievable. Was just unbelievable. And it was just wildest dream. And he was just trying his dream. Patil Babu had always uh, had a dream that he should act in a film. And that dream 
is going to be true. Going to be true. true. Continue. Yes. Continue. There is, there is that. He is about 30, a strapping young fellow. He said he would be here around 10 30. By provisions in the market, Patel Baba mixed up his wife's order and bought red chilies instead of onion seeds. And he quite forgot about the aubergines. This was not surprising. At one time, Patel Baba had a real passion for the stage. In fact, it was on obsession. In Jeffress, in amateur theatricals, in plays brought up by the club in his neighborhood, Patel Baba was always in demand. His name had appeared in handbills on countless occasions. Once it appeared in bold type near the top, Sita Lakshanto Rai Patrol Babu in the role of Parasar. Indeed, there was a time when people bought tickets specially to see him. Very good. Good reading. Listen, Patrol Babu had once been an actor in theatre. He had some previous experience of acting in a film and he was popularly known by Patrol Babu. And in handbills, his name appeared almost in all the places. This clearly suggests that he was a popular theatre actor. Theatre actor. And most importantly, he was so excited to get this offer that he mixed up with the list of shopping. In place of red, chili, red chilies, what did he buy? Tell me. Oh, yes. Yes. This was an indication that he was overexcited. Say like that. This was an indication that this was an indication that Patrol Babu was overexcited. Obviously, obviously, he was very happy. He was very and happy. In happiness and excitement. Happiness and excitement. He mixed up the list of shopping. He mixed up the list of shopping. Am I right? Yes, and that's the reason why he, I mean, his wife is little surprised when she saw that in place of red chilies he has purchased only. Oh, yes. And that was quite obvious. Yes, Anupriya. That was when he used to live in Kastra Park. He had a job in the railway factory there. In 1934, he was offered higher pay in very good post with Hudson and Kimberley in Calcutta. And was also able to find a flat in Nepal at the charge in aid. He gave up his factory job and came to Calcutta with his wife. It was quite smooth selling for some years and Patul Baba was in his boss uh, good books. In 1943, when he was just toying with the idea of starting a club in his neighborhood, sudden estrangement in his office due to the war cost in his nine year old job. Yes, listen, Patul Baba's first job was as a clerk in a railway factory. Listen now, Patul Baba's first job was as a clerk in a radio factory, then he joined Hudson and Kimberley with a higher salary. At that point, and he shifted his I mean, flat from Kantrapara to Kolkata. I mean, a nice I mean, post locality. And you know, for nine years, he worked as a senior clerk in Hudson and Kimberley. What a great, I mean, it was easy going, smooth sailing. You know, smooth sailing means there was everything in his favor. Everything went on in his favor. Understand? And there was smooth sailing. He shifted his I mean, uh, quarter, flat, residence from Kantrapara to Kolkata and started living a very good life. And he worked there for nine years. How many years? Nine years! But misfortune comes anytime. Once again, he had to face difficulty because his nine year old job was lost due to sudden retrenchment of the factory. Of the factory. The number of staffs who were employed were reduced to some few just because of the war, just because of the war. Oh. So this retrenchment made him lose his job. If I ask question. What made Patrol Babu lose his nine-year-old job in Hudson and Kimberley? Yes, a sudden retrenchment. Select so like, you tell. What made Patrol Babu lose his nine-year-old job uh, of Hudson and Kimberley? Sudden retrenchment due to the war. In the company. In the company. Made him lose his. Made him lose. Made is always followed by P1. Understand? Made is uh, always followed by bearing thing. Miss it. Select it. A sudden retrenchment. Sudden retrenchment. Due to war. Due to war. In the factory. In the factory. Made Patrol Babu. Made Patrol Babu. Lose his nine year old job. Lose his nine year old job. That's better. Proceed ahead. Ever since then, Patrol Babu had struggled to make a living. At first, he opened a variety store which he had to win the pub after five years. Then he had a job in a Bengali firm which he gave up in disgust when his boss began to treat him in too high handed a fashion. Then for 10 long years, starting as an insurance salesman, Patul Babu, Babu tried every means of earning a living without ever succeeding in improving his lot. Of late, he has been paying regular visits to a small establishment dealing in scrap iron.
had and where a cousin of his has promised him a job. Very good. Listen, every human being struggles hard. Patul Babu was also a struggler. Ask why, sir? Why, sir? Because, you know, he, after he lost the job, a uh, nine-year-old job of Hudson Kimberly, he had to look for some work. As he didn't get any other work, he started a variety shop and for five long years he struggled hard to run that shop, but without a success. That also was a failure. He's five years old and a variety shop had to be wind up just because he couldn't run the shop. And there was a loss. There was a loss. And then for 10 long years, he worked as an insurance agent. This clearly suggests that he was a struggler. And that also didn't, I mean, work. Then he, you know, was searching a share partnership with a scrap, I mean, uh, dealing business. But that, that he was looking for with his cousin. And that, that means it clearly suggests that he was struggling continuously to get some money, to earn some money. Am I right? So this clearly suggests that Patul Babu was a struggler. Was it? Like any human being, he had to face difficulties and adverse situations. Adverse situations. That girl, girl, what two more programs? That's you, two more programs. And more. I think that yeah. has become a thing of the remote past. Something which he recalls at time with a sigh. Having a good memory, Patul Babu still remembers lines from some of his better parts. Listen, or listen to the thunderous twang of the mighty bow Gandiva engaged in gory conflict. And to the angry roar of the mountainous club whizzing through the air in the hands of the great Srikodra. It sent a shiver down his spine just to think of such lines. Yes, what does this suggest? This suggests that he was struggling throughout his life. Throughout his life. Yeah, last breath. Last breath. Naresh that turned up at five, uh, half past twelve. Patol Babu had given up hope and was about to go for his bar when there was a knock on the front door. Come in, come in, sir. Patol Babu almost dragged the young man in and pushed the broken arm chair towards him. Do shit down. No, thanks. Okay, so when did Naresh that come to Patol Babu at twelve o'clock? It was just two hours late. He had told that he will come at ten o'clock, but he came at twelve o'clock. Patrol Babu was a little restless, little, yes. but, but then he asked him to come and sit in the chair and you know, his, all the restlessness came to an end because he was desperately waiting for Narista. And now Narista will talk about the role that he was expected to play and Patrol Babu was expected to play. Last program. Yes. Oh, yes, I must say I was quite taken aback. Taken aback, now surprise. After so many years. I hope you have no objection. You think you'll be all right for the part? Patul Babu asked with great defiance. Yes. Naresh that cast an appraising look at Patul Babu and gave a nod. Oh yes, he said. Uh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. By the way, the shooting takes place tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, Sunday. Yes, and not in the studio. I'll tell you where you have to go. You know, Parade House near the crossing of Bentic Street and Mission Row. It's a seven-story office building. The shooting takes place outside the office in front of the entrance. You'll accept, expect you there at 8.30 sharp. You'll be through by midday. Yes. So, Patul Babu, you know, accepted the offer. Accepted the offer? Oh. He said that yes, he had no objection. And he was quite suitable for that role. Am I right? Yes. And then, Narishna asked him to come on Sunday at Farade Street in Kolkata at what time? 8 8.30 sharp. And that was now the end of today's conclusion. So today we are ending there. We will continue it tomorrow. Okay? Yes. In the part part three. Thank you very much, girls. Thanks a lot. What?